Well, now to some special birthday celebrations. Ours. It's 50 years since Border Television began broadcasting to the region. For some of the biggest national and international news stories to some of the best love shows, John Beaver's been looking back at some of the highlights during that time. Here's his report. This is Border Television broadcasting to Cumbria, South Scotland, the Isle of Man and North and West Northumberland from the Colbeck, Selkirk and Associated Transmitters of the Independent Broadcasting Authority. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready and I go, can't go, but don't you. The year is 1961. Elvis Presley has just made the switch from rock and roll star to film star and slightly closer to home, Border Television is the world's newest TV station. Opened by the Queen, it broadcasts local news and programmes to Cumbria and southern Scotland. Within just a few years, Border covered the first of the news stories that made international headlines. Oh God, he's blown up. From the death of Donald Campbell in 1967 to the Lockerbie bombing, in 1988. The wreckage of the aircraft is strewn over tens of square miles. The cockpit was found three miles away and a large part of the fuselage with many bodies six miles beyond that. From a youthful Richard Maidley to Melvin Bragg, many famous faces have appeared on border over the years. Lord Bragg of Wigton, as he now is, played a major role both in front and behind the camera and was chairman of the station for five years. It was very awkward to run border, but it worked and it made money and it kept a lot of people very well informed and it belonged to this part of the world and they liked it because it was theirs. Usually this part of the world gets completely neglected when a big major takes up, oh, we'll look after it, they never turn up. But border really looked after its own. Mr and Mrs is arguably the most well-loved and known programme that was ever made by Porter. What a lovely audience. Hello everybody, it's nice to have you with us once again. <laughs> right, well... Uh, Locally for many yes, years, Eric Wallace uh, was Mr Border Television, loved by the thousands who watched him every out. night. They're Britain's win-a-lot real-life champions. Changes to the industry meant that regional programmes are pretty much a thing of the past, and in 2009, Border went through major changes itself. The company relocated from its old base when it merged with Time Tees to the new home where we are now, here at the Park House Business Park at the other end of Carlisle. New technology means that reporters can be based around the region and send back stories from their laptops. It's an incredible patch, a very diverse patch, lots of different communities, lots of different issues. But it's making sure that we're there at the heart of that story and particularly when the major story breaks, uh, which we've seen last year with the Derek Bird story. And I'm delighted that the team responded so well and incredibly proud of what they were able to achieve and for it to be recognised at a national level. After 50 years, Border Television is still on the road and still going strong.